I feel I need to take it upon myself to do everything I want and everything I can to enjoy this time to the fullest because I'm alive. I was born, I'm breathing. I really just want to put my footprint and say that I lived a full life. My name is Naya Higgins. I am a graduating senior, journalism and communications major, English minor from Cleveland, Ohio. Driven, lighthearted, and recently I feel I've become very carefree. This past summer, I was able to intern at a company called Black News Alerts. They're basically an online blog for African-Americans by African-Americans. Um, I was writing at least four articles every day. It was a great experience. I've been dancing for Ebony Fire for four years. And through that, I've had great opportunities to give back to my community because we've done various um, parades where we've gone to inner city communities and, you know, just bringing joy to people and, you know, getting to talk to little girls. We've done a bunch of mentor programs and gone to schools and helped different dance teams and spent time with them. I have this little girl who's like, I want to do what you do. And when I came to Hampton, I had a picture of the Ebony Fire team at the time on my phone. And I was like, I don't know who these girls are, but I want to be them. So it's been an amazing experience to have somebody feel that way about me. I'm also a member of TOF Beta Sigma, National Honorary Band Sorority Incorporated, and we're directly related to the band. But through that, I've done um, Christmas tree drives, um, wrote letters for soldiers. We've hosted all types of um, fundraisings towards lupus, towards breast cancer, or even just putting together activity packs for children in the Ronald McDonald House. so proud of the woman that I'm becoming and Hampton has a lot to do with that. On top of just being alone, like in a dorm and being out on my own, I've learned so much about independence because I gotta make sure that I get up and go to school. My mom is not here. I wash my clothes, I feed myself. You know, I'm definitely, I've learned how to take care of myself in a way that when I go off and graduate and move into my own apartment, I know that I'll be fine. Being a member of Ebony Fire, they are a very, very sassy team. I've definitely learned to feel like the hottest thing walking. Nobody can say anything to me and not in a, a cocky or a vain manner, but in a manner that I am a strong, beautiful black woman. And even when I'm in a room with other people, I've realized that those people are also in the room with me. Speaking on scripts in general, it's an amazing program. I knew that I didn't really want to be in news. I knew that I was a creative in the form of writing stories, which is why I decided to become an English minor. Although it hasn't happened yet, it's definitely going to be graduating. And I know that can seem basic, but it's huge for me and you know my family my brother did one year at grambling it didn't work out my mom you know after high school she went to nursing school not sure what my dad's experience is so for me doing this is like monumental for my family because i'll be the only one that has you know a high school degree and a college um and a college degree. I'll be, you know, my family's coming in really deep for graduation because I have so many siblings and for them, this is like, this is a huge thing. And I just feel great to be that trailblazer and be that person to break the cycle. I'm gonna give you my ultimate goal for life. And that is honestly to just be carefree and stable enough to enjoy my family. I'm a huge family oriented person. So my ultimate goal in life is to bring my family closer and to travel. A baby shark 
It's still an M and F and sharp. No matter how small you may feel you are, your power is unlimited and what you will grow into in your natural environment is unlimited and nobody tests the shark, do they?